If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money. You should too. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. The link's in the description. Thank you. The best cruiser in the world got absolutely hammered when I'm technically an obsolete design, so we can't actually really do any more with it, but we can send an ET class ship. Entire new fleet required. I, I can't really decide. The Augustas, they were very good. The Cincinnati ones just aren't as... They're not as fast, they don't pack the same firepower. I mean, yeah, it's a great ship. Well, that there. North Carolina. Howdy doody everybody, welcome back to Moist Tea Gaming, where we're playing, I forgot what we're playing then, Dreadnoughts again. I have a lovely cup of tea, which has unfortunately gone a little bit chilly, which is not fantastic. I hope you're not having the same problem as me, that is disastrous. We've got ships floating around all over the place over here, Eastern Sicily is being invaded by us, which is marvellous. Lots of ships roaming around. These are a little bit low on ammunition, but that's fine. These should be getting fixed, I hope. And then we've got a fleet over here floating around and stuff like that. I want to get Sicily sorted before I do the full refit. So that's what I was going to do last time. So let's have a gander. The refit is round at the corner, so let's design new ships. If you didn't watch the previous one at the end, I went through why the ships were now naff. So the Augusta class, the best cruiser in the world, got absolutely hammered when an update arrived. It smashed the range, it changed all the armor on it for whatever reason, and they are now flimsy pieces of trash. And we've got loads of them, it isn't fantastic, not gonna lie. The This ship, ancient, I've got six of them still floating around, I need to put them in port actually and mothball them. And that's all of them done. The Washingtons, these are now an, technically an obsolete design, so we can't actually really do any more with them, but we can refit them to at least make them better to deal with enemy capital ships, so we're going to stick some juicy gunnage on there. And then we have this one, the Cincinnati class ship. This needs modifying, that is for sure. Very good at taking out smaller bolts and such, but not the best at taking out anything a little bit bigger, and they are so slow, it's painful. But that was the design, so I may end up redoing, honestly, a full refurb of the entire fleet. Charleston was to replace the Augusta a while ago, but we could build bigger and better ones now, so I might as well just have a dabble at building an even better one. The Reno was the mine layer. That is just that's fine, it'll do what it's it'll do what it does. That's fabulous. So entire new fleet required. But what do we design first? That's a good question. I think we'll go for the big boy, the X... Oh, well, there we go. What do we go for? This one, the Dreadnought USA, or do we go for the Experimental Dreadnought? Now, looking at it, overall, the Dreadnought USA is better, so we're going to go for that. Now, some of you are going to say, before I even begin this, you could use these to stick four doodars on it, but no, I can't, because I can only have three mainline guns. So, until that's a thing, that is a no-no. So, the Dreadnought USA is going to be the one that we go for. We can properly max this out, which is glorious. 
Speed, we'll go for 22, just to use the optimal range. We'll look at that in a bit. I need to stop thinking about whacking the drought all the way up, well, not the drought, the beam all the way up to the top because of those missions that we've been doing with the Champions series. So, main tower, cage mast. That's going to go on there. We'll. Hey, up. Oh well, it's going to go on there somewhere. Can't I just budge that forward slightly? Apparently it doesn't want me to, so I'll bung it there and see what happens. Then we need a rear one, a large cage mast there as well. Excellent. Now we're going to have some funnelage. Old standard for Oh no. Old enhanced for Oh no. Let's get some of these bad boys in. Now then, that could leave room for some more armaments on there because we've got this space here. We'll leave that just for the time being. Let's have a look at main guns. Centerline main guns. We're going to go for the 12 inches. These are the Mark IIs. The 13 inches are only Mark Ones. These should have enough pen to blast through anything. Now we're going to blap them on the rear, two of them, and only one at the front. Just because, well, we don't need another babette then, built in this way. Well, they're going to be broadside to broadside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The weight is actually fairly alright, so that works out good. We're working with the design that was actually built for torpedoes now this has been a rather large debate of mine for a long time now well not really a long time but a few episodes torpedoes have been massively lacking so i'm going to be setting several of them every ship's going to have them I mean, yeah these are only underwater ones but still they'll have a three kilometer range which is rather juicy casemates let's see what we can bung on this we've got some five inches here that's wonderful Bores. Ooh, we can bung a load of them on. That will be rather juicy for destroying cruisers and things. Might want to whack them up a little bit though. We'll just see. Threes. And we've got a few extras. Yeah, bung them on. We want everything. Little twos. No, we can't bung them on anywhere. Right. So that's the main bulk of all that shenanigan done. Now then. We still have the issue of, well, that's not really an issue, but the range in here. If I remove, put these further back. Yeah, I'm going to have to because the four weight is still high. Why does it disappear when I want to do that? Right, we'll bung that there and shuffle these back slightly, like that. That's helped a bit. I mean, that'll do, right? Now then, secondary gun. Oh, we'll not look at secondary guns just yet. Let's have a quick gander at this. My minimum range is 10,000. That's what I always go for. So we'll just see what happens when we, we're still running on coal. <laughs> we're going to have to sort that out. Boilers, we could go for induced and... Oh, look, the range has gone up. Marvellous. Engine, we're going to go for... Ooh, steam expansion one or this one. Engine weight is uh, this one is just better overall. That's marvelous. Look at the range. Yes We're not going to save any of these until the end because we might be able to get more range out of them all We do have an auxiliary engine, which is fabulous. It does increase the cost, but I don't care about that I want these to survive ship repairs are Marvelous, so we'll get some of them in now then rudder what do we go for here? Now, I've always gone for the balance because they sustain their speed while running around, but the turn rate is... and uh, the weight is reduced as well. So it's just a case of what do you want, really. An unbalanced one slows it down, makes it heavier. The turn rate is good, but it's just... No, it's like having muscle cars and then a car built for cornering. We'll go for a muscle car. Steering, do we go for hydraulic? How much does that actually add in weight? About 100, 100 tons. Mm, but the rudder and everything else will be marvellous. It would be good to turn these and attempt. Now that will counteract the balance rudder to be fair, so that will that'll work. So we get best of both. 
We'll just see what happens with that. Armor. Let's get some of the Harvey, Harvey stuff on. Yes, please. For bet. There isn't really any. Of course, it's going to be the bit underneath. Main gun weight. Oh, that's not so bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. But flash fire is drastically reduced. anti torp 2. That is a must. Double bottom hull is a must. Torpedoes are a nuisance. Now then, do we go for the reinforced bulkheads? Maybe? How much does that add? 500 tons, man. That's a lot. The floatability is nice. The chance of fire is just nothing. We'll think about that one. Anti-flood. Now we need this. Water pumping and ship repairs from flooding. Yes. Citadel. Yeah, we're going to have to have a bit of that. That increases armor strength as well. Glorious. So, what do we want on the main shells? They're probably going to be mostly for armor piercing. Now, let's have a look at these. We don't want semis because the armor sh the uh, armor piercing is just naff. Let's have a look at standard. I want to be able to pen something good, like good and proper. Right, so let's uh, reduce, uh, stick them to capped. Yeah, that's better. 10,000 meters, and we're going to go through 21 inches of armor. Marvelous. Now let's have a look at these. The nose fuse don't really do anything apart from squirt at them, so we'll go for soft cat. And look at that. All of a sudden, we can go through a juicy amount of armor, even on HE shells. So that is going to be looking quite nice. Any light cruisers which aren't armored up are going to get clobbered. That's good. So on the secondary ones, oh, we'll have to have a look at that in a minute anyway. Yes, yeah, so we've got all these four-inch guns down here as well. But on the main guns, we're going to go for increased armor piercing, because that's what we're going to want. That's mainly what you're going to be used for, taking on other capital ships. Secondaries, we're going to go for mm, probably increased armor piercing on them as well, because they can't pen that much. So we'll be fine with that. And if one of them hits a torpedo boat, well, it's just going to get blapped anyway, isn't it, really? Shell size. I like to go for the light ones. The reload faster. The flash fire is reduced. The penetration goes down a little bit, but the reload time, accuracy, and everything else is marvellous. Let's just compare it. 10,000, 1.2. Go for heavy. 1.4. There's not much in it, but you get a lot more of them. So I'm happy with the light ones. I do like them. Now then, do I go for reduced shells? Oh, it's weight. How much does that save? Not that much, actually. I'll go for standard shells. I think before we were really struggling with that. So we'll go for... What about increased? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. We'll stick with standard for now. Repellent, we'll go for white powder. I don't like the other one. They seem to get a bit blowy-uppy. Black powder is disgusting, though. We'll go for the gun cotton. Yes, please. Hydraulic turrets. Mm, traverse speed is going to be a bit of an issue. Because they are bigger. I do want them to be able to flap, maybe. Standard reloading enhanced. Oh, gun aiming speed and traverse speed really goes down. So you can't really do one without the other. We'll leave them as standard for the time being. Torpedoes. We'll go for standard because the range is drastically reduced on these. In other words, there probably is going to be a better chance of getting them hit by them and not dodging. Do I do that? Torpedo accuracy goes down as well. Go for standard for the time being. The fast ones are so much faster. It's scary how fast they come at you. Mm, we'll go for standard. Torpedo size, we'll go for 17 inch because that is wonderful. We'll go for a standard number of torpedoes. Before we had it only on reduced. A lot of stuff was on reduced. Now range finder. Do we want the that one or this one? This one improves the aiming process and base accuracy of the guns, but the other one's primarily 
for long range accuracy. So if we click on that, what does that go up to? Oh, it does go up a little bit. What does the other one do again? I think they're relatively the same, really. Gun aiming speed, yeah, that's all well and good, but... The splash interference from other guns is quite a nice feature. We'll go for that one. Now then, do we just primarily have this stuck with the big guns? It does have a good number of little ones floating around. We could even increase the girth on them. I'm not going to bother really with secondaries. I mean, we're going to put them anyway. That could make this really armoured up, which is ideal. In terms of deck armour, what I'm, I'm going to have to actually consider sticking a little bit on now. I think the chance of a shot, call it 10,000 metres. It's not really going to go in, is it? You're talking 2.8, like, like that's maximum, that's what's going to happen there. With accuracy involved and everything else. Or even 2.2 I'm going to gamble at, looking at those percentages. Which means if we reduce this to 1.5, with a plus 50%, we're talking about that, really. And then you've got a little bit in the Citadel, just in case. I'll whack that up. That should be enough to protect that. Now the armor on the main bell, I do want that to be quite juicy. How high can I get that? I mean, what's it going to look like with 15? Oh yeah, not bad. So now we're talking around 20-ish. 22.5. Can I go a little bit more? 18. Ooh, that's a bit much. Hmm. Superstructure is a little bit flimsy as well, though. We kind of do need to get that slightly. Don't want HE shells hitting it. Really, I could probably have that at 1.5 as well. The big HE shells will do it, but they'll be aiming armor piercing from another gun to hit the hole. And a HE shell from a 5 inch gun can only go to 1.4 at point blank, which probably isn't going to happen. So I'll leave it at 1.5. We'll see if we can get these up to five at least, just to give it a bit of something. And we've got the armor of all these and the diameter and everything else that we could potentially play with. See if we can get that same as the side armor, which we can. We'll do that top. Uh, we'll bump that up slightly. We'll go for two on them. In fact, we'll go for two on everything. I'll keep it. I'll match it with the other stuff. One point five. There we go, that's done, but bet that could do with a bit of a boostage. Get that to 15 as well, so it's all nice and matching. I love it when things are nice and match. Ideally, I'd have more armor on 16 times 1.53. Let me find out. That equals 24.48. Which, talking 5,000 meters, a direct hit. Point um, straight on will penetrate, which is touch and go. Really, we want it a little bit more. It's a 17. It's going to cost a lot, though, isn't it? That'll bring it up to 26.1. So they'll have to get real close to Penners, which is better, at least in the main belt, anyway. But we're practically impervious to a lot of stuff. The battles do relatively stay quite close range at this point. Now, what would it be like if I whacked these up slightly? We've got a lot of. We've only got a couple of three inch guns. We're not that bothered about them. What about the four inch guns? Can we practically make them a five? Oh, we, we don't have the weight allowance. Would be useful if these were a little bit bigger. I mean, what about these? Now, this is obviously going to the extreme right now, but they're practically 13, and they'll rip a hole in a lot of stuff there. What about the length? I increase the length on them things. It does increase. Look at the reload time now. Let's just have a further look. I mean, that's the length. Which is quite an e cheap one to do. Let's look at 10,000 meters, 1.2. And the reload time... 150 seconds and the muzzle velocity about a thousand so that's got up 0.5 of a percent at 10,000 
around 100 meters per second in there and I see it is more accurate but mostly at longer ranges which we're not going to be engaging with if you look at 5,000 meters 6 and 6.6 .6, and then you whack it up I see it isn't it is it, mm, it probably is a good idea because we want to really keep them at bay for a little bit a little while at least Looking at it, everything over here is still dandy. We'll not save this just yet. If we can reduce the range to a standard, that gives us actually a lot more playing room. That is rather juicy. What about the beam? Can I play with the beam and bring it in? It'll be a lot less of a good shooting platform then, though, isn't it? Try to keep it at zero as balanced as we can. Thing is, I've, I've never found the numbers on here where it actually shows it. So, all that stability, for example, there, right? We fiddle around with this and it doesn't change. Oh, but roll does. Go away for a minute. Let me have a look at that. Roll goes down quite significantly. Apparently we've got a weight offset as well somewhere. We'll leave it in the middle for now. Uh, we'll try and go for the 10,000 kilometer range. That gives us a lot more room to play with. Thinking more armor or bigger guns? That is the question. It would definitely be good if we got bigger, small, um, bigger ones of these, but these are going to be the main kickers here. Even if they don't fire too often, I want them to hit. Increase the length. We've got the room now. It does whack it up. I mean, going up to 12.9, that's so much more firepower. I think we'll do it. We'll go up to 13 inch guns, Mark IIs. This will need slightly tweaking. But that seems happy. I think we'll go for that. And then the other guns. Side. Oh, that's armor. Well, that's all maximum anyway, so that's decent. Probably a good idea to stick more armor in the babettes of these things. One good hit, and it could cause them to go pop. What does that add? Not too much, actually. Try getting that to 17 as a minimum. Oh, that's maximum anyway. But what's the maximum on that? Oh, see, that's happy with it. Now, the gun caliber of the casemates. Let's try and boost these. They're pretty much at 100% in their length. Certainly going to give them... Oh, look at that. That's a lot better. Let's get the length on these even higher on everything. We're really close to the limit now. We do really want to start smashing these things to pieces. I think that might just do it. Let's just double check that range. It's still over the 10,000, which is my minimum. Right, so that is a battle cruiser. Well, not a battle cruiser. What am I on about? A dreadnought hull, well, pre-dreadnought. Well, whatever it is, it's one of them. And that will smash a Washington any day. Side armor is equivalent to 26.01. Really, it could do with a bit of a boost. But we've gone for more cannon. I think we'll try it at that. Just want to make sure that these don't get damaged too much. Ideally, I want more armor on it. I mean, what is the actual maximum I can put on? 35. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? That would be nice. We've opted for larger guns. It's got to be better, on it? It has to be. There's dealing damage and then there's just taking the hits because you don't cause enough. So we'll go for that. That's going to cost 50 million. That is ridiculous. That's practically double the Washington that goes four knots faster. It's got all the new tech in it. I mean, have a look at these guns. I mean, what's the side armor on that? Main belt, 12. But it's significantly more armored up. Can't quite see the stats on those guns, but they're so much better on the other one. That's going to be called the North Carolina class. Some people are going to be happy with that. 
Right, so that's the big boys done. I'm not going to bother with the armoured cruiser. I'm not interested. Yeah, no, no, we can't really build proper ones anyway. But not only that. But they're even slower, and I don't see the point in building these, because we're going to have the dreadnoughts. So the question is, do I go for a armoured cruiser, or do I go for a light cruiser? The main benefit of the semi-armoured cruiser is that the floatability and resistance is just so much better. As a sailing ship though, the light cruiser 2 is... Yeah, it smashes it. Acceleration, turn rate, much more of an agile ship. The semi-armoured cruiser... It's, yeah, it gets hammered by it. But the floatability and everything else is so much better. Resistance. That gun damage, plus 14%. Whereas on here, it's massively... Oh, look at that. Sloped design, plus 44% increased ricoch ricochet chance. I knew they could take a hit. The North Carolina, I mean, look at that, plus 72% chance, slope to design, increased ricochet chance. So maybe I did the right thing and go for the gun, bigger guns. Definitely. But I do want to go with these. It's just a better. But we need to have them at least the same speed as the battleships or it's not going to work. Well, that's going to eat into a lot of the weight. We'll have to do one of each and see what we can come up with. Let's have a dabble first. Main tower, small cage mast um, 4. Bung that there for the time being. Then a secondary cage mast. Bung that there. Funnels. The large ones. As long as they're high enough, it's alright. I mean, that, that's nice, is that we can bung a few of these in. Here's the thought though, can that... Oh, it can! Somebody mentioned this. Forgotten who, but if we can get the small cage mast in there. Somewhere. Doesn't like being right at the back, but it likes being down there. Hmm. Can that go in? No, there's no way. I bung that right up to there. Now, is this going to hamper the accuracy? Because these need to be quite tall, and they're going to be looking out of here going, what is going on? Because they're just going to be suffocating. Now, is three funnels going to be enough? We'll go for induced and a bit of that with a bit of this. And a bit of that with a balanced rudder. That's what we did on the other one. And we are getting the range just... I think we're going to need another funnel. So if I bung that up back up there, funnel. Oh, see, that is better. That's much more alive than the previous. Do something like that. Now then, I, I did want a bigger gun. Because we need to be able to penetrate the enemy's armor. The six inch just wasn't cutting it really. At all, to be completely honest. But again, torpedoes though. We need torpedoes. This has quite a few of them, but these ships just aren't that fast. That is the main problem here. They can't get in a proper position and they're not as maneuverable to get into that position. We can stick a lot of casemates on here, which is all well and good. Oh wow, I can really stick a lot on here. Are they going to be fantastic? Uh, doing goodness to them now. That's the problem. So they're only three inches Can't really penetrate anything, but the idea of the previous one the Cincinnati one Was to get torpedo bolts and things out of the way now these just aren't oh well hang on a minute if we sort out the um, This malark That'll be a better indication so there we go, that's going to go... It's still not very much though, is it, really? It is only a 3 inch, well, 4 inch gun there. Not going to go through enough. But that's still dubious. Very good for taking out destroyers and light. A very light 
I've not even liked cruisers, really. What about the seven inch gun? Yeah, that's a lot better. That'll go through. That'll go through quite nicely. But we're only going to have room for two of them. But they are so much better. Could even potentially whack that up to pretty much an eight. Do I want that though? These are almost like a balance between an armoured cruiser and a light cruiser. Let's go with it for now. Uh, 17 inch, we'll go for standard torpedoes. Can't remember what I did on the other one. What did I decide? I think I wanted the standards for the range. We didn't bother with any of the reloading or anything. Armour piercing on the big ones, maybe? going to have to be, and then I'll probably go for increased armor piercing on the smaller ones as well. Now, armor plate, get some Harvey on there. Oh, that saved us a bit of room. Babette, Babette 2, because we don't want them blowing up. We've had a little bit of that lately. Not on these, but on the Augustas. Not bothered about the bulkheads, anti-flood, citadel, all that malarkey is a must. Oh, that's a thought. Crew, I don't think I put the crew on the other one. This is why I don't save it until the very end. No, I didn't. Mm. I just need to shave a little bit off of this. Now, what did we do? Maybe a little bit off the turret armor. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe the side of that. It's just not going to be enough, is it? Not without compromising them. Maybe one notch off of that. I see. No, I don't want to do that either. Maybe the main belt. Whoa. Right, we'll go for that. That was painful to do, but we've done that. And that is with standard. Oh, spacious crew. Yeah, we want the spacious crew. More crew, the better. Definitely want more crew. Want this thing fighting and going for it. I do like spacious crew. Right, so back to this one. We can't reduce the range anymore, so we'll whack it up again a little bit slightly. Did I do all this? Yeah, looks like I did. And then range finder. We'll try to go for the this one because of the splash interference. These do splash a lot. Mines? Do I bother? No, we'll not bother. Now then, the armor isn't here at the moment, but we're going to whack that up. To maximum six. Maximum six. Well, that certainly um, does it a bit of, uh, yeah, goodness. What if I reduce the beam? narrow. Hmm. Roll is a big problem in these ships. I didn't realize that. 39%. Hmm. Now then, if we do reduce the beam the mu as much as we have, looking at that. So, we're looking at that now. If we reduce the beam, let's just roll. Look at that. Accuracy bonus. Absolutely slapped. But if I do reduce that beam, and then I can reduce the range, we get, we get then a lot more room to play with. But is that worth it? Remains to be seen. Might even be worth looking into on the other ships. Deck armor on these. Mm, I think 0 0.3 is going to cut it, to be honest. Way up. 0 0.3 on them as well, just see what happens. In fact, that ain't going to be good enough, is it? HE shell can smash its way through that easily. Change that to 1.5. Conning tower, we need that at maximum. The belts, we need increasing as well. What's the thought? Did I stick torpedoes on this? I must have done yet. Did I stick more guns on this? Oh, there's room for it. Not bothered about a little gun though. Don't think I am, and we could do with giving them all a little bit more. Citadel certainly needs a little bit more armor on it. I'll whack that up slightly into 0.5. We'll try that, and the Citadel can then go up a little bit more. After a main belt. Go for three. Try three. 
We've got maximum armor available on them. Do I increase the caliber or the length of them? Oh, I forgot all about... Oh, hang on. No, that's armor. What am I doing? Here, length. Right, let's check that out. 5,000 meters, 1.3. What's the maximum? Five? Let's go up to 1.5. It is going to be more accurate. What about on these little things as well? That's probably a good idea. They're already at maximum. Making a bigger gun on these. Well, certainly. That's a fat gun for a cruiser, really. At the moment, that is the maximum. So we'll decide between this. No, it's not there. And a light cruiser 2. So here's the light cruiser 2. These are faster in general. So we can go to 23 knots happily with these things, which is certainly an advantage. What guns can we stick on this? Let's go to the main guns. We can stick 7 inch guns on these as well, though. And then secondary... Oh, hang on. See, if we have the main complement as a bit of a mix, they don't like it. We can't stick six, sixes in there, so a five-inch gun. There, there, and there. It would be good if we can just do that, you know? <laughs> Without it being penalising. Because... These seven inch guns are a threat to enemy bigger ships like armored cruisers, which has been an issue. Now, these don't actually hold as many torpedoes either, but they are a little bit faster. Casemates, there's only a couple on these things. Let's have a look at the main tower. Oh, hang on a minute. Secondary guns, we've got a few of them we can potentially blab on, but they don't like to be there. I'll have a fiddle with that shortly. Main tower. See, that just doesn't fit. Not with that on it, anyway. We could go for an older tower, but no, it still doesn't fit. Main tower. It's not, oh, we, oh, we could bung it down there. That's an idea. Then we can have a fat gun on it. How about one of them, eh? Ah, yeah. If we really wanted... We could do that, but again, they're, they're a lower class gun. We need fatter ones. That is an alternative. I mean, it ain't great mixing them up. Well, that's pretty fat, is that? What about down here? We do the same. We haven't stuck any funnels on yet, though. Let's bung that there for now. Will that actually fit down here? Yes, it will. Mmm. Right, funnelage. Enhanced funnel. Oh, we need a thin funnel. That'll work. That one takes up less room. And bung a few of them in. Let's have a look at this. Boilers, induced steamage. We'll have lots of it. Auxiliary engine, balanced, but with a hydraulic steering. Armor, Harvey. Babette's two, double hull, ignore the bulkhead, amplitude one. Oh, that's not as good as the other one. All right, so let's have a look at the range. We've got the range. The engine efficiency is acceptable. Now, does that mean I can stick more five-inch guns on there? It does. Oh, wait, oh, where have we gone? Oh, there we are. That's full of guns. I think I like this more than the other one. But is it going to be worthy though? That is the question. Make it a little bit thinner. No, oh, it doesn't like that then. Oh, there we go. We'll have a double at that. Minus two. Don't mind going a little bit thinner. Let's put the shells. Let's have the gun cotton in there. Get rid of that. Standard light shell size. Main shells, uh, increased armor piercing, the secondaries, do we even have any? Oh yeah, we do. We'll just go increased armor piercing on them. Oh, we'll go for standard. Sorry, we'll go for standard on them. Capped shells and capped shells as well. 
Now how are we looking? Now we're looking like we can actually pen a bit of something there. Point black range, 11.7. That is better than... Uh, that will go through a lot of cruisers with that. That is marvellous. Torpedo size, fat. I think we're happy with the rest of that range finder. Uh, we'll go for the stereoscopic. Because we like that one because of the splash thing. Armor, get that right up. Excellent. Deck 0 0.5, because we should be fine with that. As long as no big guns hit us, then we'll stay alive. Superstructure, we'll go for 1.5. Conning tower maximum, so the officers stay alive. Aft bell, we'll go to score for 2, just for the time. Oh, not 21, that won't work. Go for 2. Still seem to have quite a lot of space. Now that tells me we could potentially make this even fatter. How about we go mental on that? We can increase the length on all of these. That is a good question. Get all these super... I'll see, this is where we're going to start having problems. We'll get those three inch guns on the job as well. Right, so we need to increase the beam a little bit. Go for minus one. Nope, not happy with that. How about just zero? They're mostly happy with that. What are you two barking on about? What's wrong with you? I see now you're happy. They just needed replacing. So far we've gotten away with it. We've still got the range. It's faster. At the top, uh, 0 0.5 on all these turrets. Because we want it uniform. We've still got a bit to play with. Now, I'm not complaining, but that's just wonderful. Now, can we increase the girth on these even more? So they're now going up to <laughs> armored cruiser penetration scale, which is marvelous because that has been a large issue. These smaller ones can most definitely take care of a lot. Now, they're not even. How much can I bump these up to? Still going. Ah, oh, yeah, we can go mental on these. Excellent. Point blank range, 8.7. Now, unless the enemy cruiser's got maximum armor, that's going through it. That is marvelous. Oh, that's so much better. Right, what else can we do? Still got a bit of room to play with. Do I stick? I'm not going to bother with mines on them because they're not going to be used for that. Now it's either going to be these or the armored cruiser. That is the question. Can I look that up? No, I can't. Oh, what have I done? It's 5,000. Oh, we're still happy. That's good. We've still got room. We can armor it up even more. We can just go for, I don't know, two on the superstructure for the time being. And the aft has stick six. Oh, it doesn't quite like that. We'll go for four and then four. Happy. Nice. Armor, mm, the bets that could probably do with uh, quite a lot. These do get a little bit feisty. Oh, there we go. Right, so now we're a little bit struggling. We'll go 3.5. I want these guns armored because we've had several flash fires and that won't help. So, fully armored up. That seems good to me. Let me do a little bit more on that. What's the maximum on the babette on that? Stick 11 on, or 9.8. Oh, we've got it. Nice. See, that, I think, is the best of both. It's faster. It's got two of the exact same gun on it, the fat ones. Plenty of pretty much six-inch guns on there as well. So it has more firepower. They are just a little bit more susceptible to sinking. Hmm. I might go for these, you know. Everything seems happy with it. Let me just double check. There's always something that I've missed. Gun calibers are all at maximum. Oh, oh yeah, that one's still good. All the armor's at max. Gun caliber for these isn't, but they're only a little poxy thing, so we're not that bothered about them. 3.4 on the case, mate. That's fine. I'll live with that. Oh, that one. See, I missed that one. 
could just reduce this slightly. That should do the there. See, look, there we go. Mines, we've got that on. 17, that's all how we want it. Light shell, armor piercing on the main gun, yeah. Soft cat and cat. Got the citadel and everything else. That seems quite juicy to me. So it's either this one, which is going to cost me 10 million poundingtons, or this one, which is the same price, slower, in a way less armament, really. These are four inches on here rather than sixes, even though there is more of them, it can take more of a punishment. See, it's... what do you choose? It's got just as much armour, pretty much. If we have a look, everything does seem in... Oh, they're only 4.3s! Well, the other ones have bigger guns on them as well. Not gonna lie, I can't really decide. They're both very good. The other ones are a little bit faster, but these ones can take more punishment. But they're not as manoeuvrable either. If we look at this one again, it's that little bit quicker. Did I play with the beam on this? That's a thought. Oh, I did! That's a minimum beam anyway. A whole form. That's one of the ones that changes. Look at that, it's stupid. Engine weight through the roof. Turn rate. Shocking. Because the other one is so much better at that. That whole form 80. Acceleration. Turn rate. And when you're talking about survivability, these are going to be a lot better at dodging torpedoes and things. The stability isn't great. But then again, on the other one, what's it like on there? even lower so the other one should be more accurate and they've got bigger guns on and that, that it's i think it's a no-brainer yeah the resistance on these is fantastic because of the slope design and ricochet chance and it's a little bit low on these not gonna lie but ah, it's just flooding chance what about the floatability on the other one it's just a bit of a tank this thing I honestly cannot decide the guns on the other one are better but this will survive more but I had the same debate with the North Carolina class now we could have put more armor on it but we went for bigger guns I think I might just go for this I don't want to muck about too much you see I liked the Augustas, they were very good. The Cincinnati ones just aren't as... They're not as fast, they don't pack the same firepower. And you think these are a big upgrade on the Augustas, that huge. Yeah, we're going to go for these, we're going to go for the Baltimores. That's what our fleet is going to consist of. Baltimores and North Carolinas. We will get rid of the design of the New Haven. We'll remove this. Delete. E uh, yes, I've made a decision. Now the Baltimore, is there anything that I have missed on here? I don't believe so. It looks juicy to me. We're not bothered about the mines. Everything is good. Yes, I'm happy with that. Save. Baltimore, welcome to the Navy. Now this, is there anything I've missed on this one? That is a good question. I just need to double check it all. Here's a thought. What if I reduce the beam on this? Yeah, nah. That doesn't give me anything. Oh, hang on. Let me do that again. Just reduce it down to there. I oh, see, we've already got the range down at minimums anyway, so we're not going to gain anything. Yeah, we'll have that on... Uh, Girthy. I mean, yeah, it's a great ship. We'll have that. North Carolina. 
Now, while we're at it, do we want to make anything else? I don't think so. Been questioned about destroyers, but mm, do I really want to? They're just flimsy things, but they are so lethal. Still don't think it's the right time for me to get these yet. We're going to be spending a lot of money on upgrading the battleships and everything else. I think we'll leave these nemesis things for the time being. Not all that, but we could do with the bigger ones anyway. Well, there you have it. Let me know what you think. I'm going to actually set a lot of these to build now. I want at least one fully functional ship. Well, fully functional set of these running. Build. I want two of these. How long does they take to build? That's a good question. What does it tell me? 19 months and a Washington take 6. It's, it's not even that much. I mean, yeah, they're twice as expensive, but they're twice as good. Get two of them built. Oh, do I go for four? Do I just go mental? Do I go for six? I'll have to just check what our shipyard state is actually like. We're already building ships. Mostly for others. But we are building two Washingtons there and the mine laying a lot. And some Augusta class for Greece and a Washington class for Brazil. We'll try to take this one at a time. Build two of these North Carolinas and eight Baltimores. That is going to be fabulous. Now, that's probably already took it over. Oh, we're not far off, actually. That's really close. But yeah, no, that's good. Just realize we've got some more Cincinnati class light cruisers floating around. We'll have them plop out in Boston. And just like that, the new fleet is being born. Excellent. Let me know your thoughts and comments. That would be marvellous. I do try to get to most comments. If you want a better and quicker reply, then come and join the Discord. That would be marvellous. I'm always on there. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.